Hello everyone and welcome back to the Politics GC. Recently we've been making a lot of content covering the presidential election and everything going on there and trust me it's very interesting and I'd love to make more videos covering that sort of stuff but I want to also consider the Senate elections because we all know that no matter who wins this presidency whoever controls Congress is going to have significant ramifications on the legislation that's passed in the next four years. We know that currently the Senate is split 50-50. These two Democrats always, or independents always caucusing with Democrats, so really being negligible. So really 50-50. And so no matter who wins the presidency, it matters where the Congress goes and specifically the Senate as well. That's really going to determine what type of legislation we get passed in the next four years or not. So we made a video recently covering the Montana Senate election, but today I'd like to shift focus over to Nevada. Looking at the polling from the New York Times, they classify the Nevada Senate race as a lean Democrat race, but the polling or the way they organize it here on their site is kind of misleading. They say that the Democrat Jackie Rosen has a 2.4 chance of winning, but really that's a U.S. presidential margin, not the actual polling that we've seen. So some background on the candidates before we get into the actual polling. Jackie Rosen is the current incumbent Democratic senator. She was first elected in 2018, defeating the Republican incumbent. Dean Heller and uh, by 5%, which is a pretty good margin when you're defeating the incumbent, and now she's seeking a second term. She is a pretty popular senator, one of the most bipartisan senators in the Senate, which is definitely going to aid her in this race. On the Republican side of things, we have Sam Brown, who is a military veteran. He has a lot of experience with military service and everything. He has some political experience as well, but nothing really uh, stuck until his 2024 Senate campaign, where he obviously won the primary and is now moving towards the general election. Election. Another thing I'd like to know is that he is a strong candidate. He's made making a lot of stops on the campaign trail and he is a considerable opponent to Jackie Rosen. So now that we have some basic info about the candidates, let's move on to the polling. So 538 here shows that Jackie Rosen has about 8, 10, 9% uh, lead against Sam Brown, which is very, very important, right? That's not even lean, that's probably likely. She has a strong chance in this election. Looking at the Real Clear Politics polling, that further uh, forwards what the 538 polling was saying. Again, 10.8% that Jackie Rosen is leading by. So why does this race seem to be so in the minds of Democrats, right? You've probably been hearing about this race and hearing Sam Brown and Jackie Rosen's names uh, or Sam Brown's. So why have people been talking about this? So a few key reasons that make it much more competitive than the actual polling is showing. So in 2022, uh, Catherine Cortez Masto, the other Democratic senator from Nevada, she had her re-election campaign and only won by 0.8%, which is very marginal, right? That's very low. Additionally, on the presidential front, uh, since 2012, or since 2008, uh, Democrats have had a pretty strong hold over Nevada in 28, uh, or 2008. Obama won the state by about 12%. In 2012, he won it by about 6%. And then 2016, Hillary won it by about 3 And 2020, uh, 2020, Biden won about 24 So that margin has been slowly decreasing and decreasing over time. Additionally, in uh, the 2022 midterms or the elections then, the Nevada governor was also won by Joe Lombardo, the Republican front. But also I'd like to note that the governorship isn't really that telling of how Senate elections are going to know for ex or going to go. For example, you know, in Kentucky, which is a very solid Republican state, they have a Democratic governor in Andy Bashir, so it doesn't tell that much about how they're going to vote on the presidential or the uh, Senate or congressional side of things. What's really more important is that, first of all, both senators have been Democrats in Nevada since 2012. They voted for Democrats on the presidential level for a while now, and then Democrats also hold majority in both chambers of their state legislature, and there's all but one congressional seat in Nevada is held by a Democrat. So um, that's all leading towards a Democrat. But one other thing to note, then, why people have been talking about this, or were more talking about this earlier, is what's brought up here in this Washington Post. Post article. Uh, Trump's consistent leads in Nevada polls this year suggested that Nevada might be the only state he lost twice that he might win. This, however, was before Kamala Harris engaged uh, young and minority Nevadans. And I think that's the key here, right? If we go back to the Real Clear Politics polling with this new uh, anecdote in mind, we see that Jackie Rosen, and again, just for context, on July 21st was when um, President Biden dropped out of the race. On July 21st, she had about 5.2% above uh, Sam Brown. And again, before that, it was around like the 4 to 7 range as well, or 4 to 5 range. But then since then, she has skyrocketed 
to 10 percentage points ahead of Sam Brown. This is just further clear evidence that the Democrats did the right thing in dropping Joe Biden because he was not going to help anyone in their lower ballot races. Jackie Rosen would have had to count on Nevada and splitting the ticket, voting Donald Trump probably for the presidency and then her for the Democratic election. So she and other Senate candidates were very concerned about Joe Biden being on the ticket and affecting their chances at winning. And so now that Kamala is in the race and people are more excited about voting Democrat. She's a much better chance, and this has absolutely skyrocketed. Again, furthering this, uh, the Nevada forecast by uh, The Hill finds that the current model predicts that Jackie Rosen has an 80% chance of winning Nevada. That, that's enormous, 80% chance. I wouldn't think that they would give this. When I saw this myself, I was like, wow, 80% is extremely high. Other races, again, show that their recent polling all finds that Jackie Rosen has a much better chance of winning than she did just a month ago. All in all, I think we can say that this Nevada election isn't going to be lean Democrat. It's going to be likely Democrat. When we take in the 538 polling, 9, 10, 8%, we look at the 538 polling that has only grown in Jackie Rosen's favor since Biden dropping out of the race right now, 10.8% or 10.7, whichever way you look at it. And then the all the projections overall, they just further lead to Jackie Rosen being uh, the victor in this election. Also, one more thing I'd like to add is when we're looking Looking at the national ramifications of this, I do not think that her winning Nevada, or even if like that would lead to Kamala winning it on the national stage, even if she wins it, that's not going to help her much. It's only six uh, electoral votes. And so when we compare it to say Pennsylvania, which is a very important state for the Democrats to win if they want to win the election, it's not going to help all that much. Say if we fill in Arizona and just mind uh, or I'll make this okay yeah let's make it very lean uh red in Georgia North Carolina and then if Democrats win Michigan Wisconsin and then Nevada Nevada's not gonna help them out th that much they need Pennsylvania they can lose Nevada um, and still win the race even if they win Nevada and Arizona but lose Pennsylvania they're still going to lose so Pennsylvania is really the key in this race not as much Nevada so I don't think that this presidential race at least or the Senate race will impact the national scale as much but I do think that the uh, vice versa definitely works Kamala Harris as we saw in this Washington Post article or opinion article that Kamala Harris is the reason that Jackie Rosen has been doing better in her Senate race and she's got all the credit to give to Kamala Harris for that as we see by this polling so again moral of the story I don't think that this is a race that people have to worry about too much on the Democratic front I think Sam Brown is a good candidate he seems to be working very hard on the campaign trail but I don't think that that's going to benefit him in the end because of where the current polling stands and how much Nevadans love Jackie Rosen so thank you for watching today's video make sure to comment down below on which video you would like to see next and thanks for watching